What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia. This week we're doing the Gem Knight archetype. So the Gem Knights were released in Dual Terminal Violent Descends. They are used by Julia Crystal in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 anime. Their team symbol is a jewel droplet adorned with gold trim and two small arced points. Its colour varies according to the monster or object to which it is attached. All Gem Knights are Earth Attribute, whereas their type varies between Pyro, Thunder, Aqua or Rock, with one fairy exception as well. Gem Knights are further subdivided into trios. Each type includes a normal member, a Gemini member and a fusion monster. All members of this archetype are named after different minerals. Aesthetically, they appear to be a synthesis of Jesse Anderson's Crystal Beasts and Jaden Yuki's Elemental Hero cards. This is possibly a homage to their friendship in the anime. This is evidenced in cards such as Gem Knight Fusion, whose artwork is clearly a merging of Crystal Release and Miracle Fusion. While the four Gem Knight normal monsters are shown to be unarmed, the ten Fusion monsters wield weapons befitting their stats and effects or lack thereof. Gem Knight Aqua Marine uses a bladed shield. Gem Knight Ruby uses a polearm. Gem Knight Topaz uses twin bladed tonfa. Gem Knight Amethyst carries a shield and what is either a wand or a slim blade. Gem Knight Citrin uses a fire sword and Gem Knight Prismora wields a lance and shield. Gem Knight Zirconia, on the other hand, is equipped with gigantic fists, seemingly to compensate for his lack of effect. Gem Knight Seraphonite uses a saber and Gem Knight Master Diamond uses a broadsword embedded with gems. Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli which deals effect damage is depicted without any weapon. Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond uses a simple sword. Gem Knight is the first and so far the only archetype to boast six polymerization styled cards. Gem Knight Fusion, Particle Fusion, Pryoxene Fusion, Fragment Fusion, Absorb Fusion and Brilliant Fusion. So how about a bit of backstory on the Gem Knights? A group of warriors endowed with the power of minerals. The Gem Knights value honor above all else and disapprove of battle for the sake of battle. At the provocation of the barbaric Laval, however, they are forced to take up arms and protect the clans from destruction. However, the Steel Swarm begin to invade the surface land, intending to take over. The Gem Knights join up with the other clans in a temporary union spearheaded by the Vylons. Along the way, they obtain new powers with which to resist the Steel Swarm. Swarm. Although the Steel Swarm are quickly dispatched, conflict is far from over. The Vylons decide to exterminate the clan in order to prevent future wars. The clans once more band together in order to halt the Vylon, but it's the collaboration between the Gem Knights and Gishki to whom credit for their eventual victory goes. Gem Knight Pearl is the downfall of the Vylon. After the violence are driven back, the alliances between clans once again dissolves. The Gishki immediately resumes their invasion of Mist Valley, which had been their main objective pre-Steel Swarm. In order to obtain resources from the valley, the Gishki enact a genocide on the Gusto. The Gem Knights intervene to rescue the remaining Gusto. When the E-Swarm virus begins to spread across the dual terminal world, the Gem Knights join the Gusto in a prayer for the Constella, a legendary band of divine warriors to aid them. The Constella may not be strong enough to resist the E-Swarm army alone as the Gishki clan falls to the virus. Knowing this, the Gem Knights fuse into the most powerful Gem Knight. Dark Line warrior Caligorgon appears to be a corrupted combination, probably by the E-Swarm virus, of Gem Knight Crystal. With parts of Gem Knight Zirconia, right arm and left leg, Gem Knight Master Diamond's left arm and right leg, and Gem Knight Prismora's damaged head. Well then, there's a bit of the story, so how about we move on to the actual monsters. First up, Gem Knight Alexandrite. This card is named after the mineral Alexandrite, which is a variation of the Chrysoberyl mineral. The effect of this card references light passing through a gemstone and giving it a different colour. This monster resembles Gem Knight Crystal and Gem Knight Master Diamond. Since Gem Knight Crystal is somewhat similar to Elemental Hero Neos, this card may be the Gem Knight counterpart of Elemental Hero Neos Alias. 
This is backed up by the fact that both are level 4 effect monsters. This card has 100 attack and defense less than Neos Alias. Also, they both can support their older forms. Neos Alias gains the name of Neos, while Alexandrite summons Crystal. Next up, Gem Knight Amber. This card is named after, well, the Amber. This card, along with Gem Knight Lelite, are the first Gem Knight Gemini monsters. As well, they are meant to work in tandem recycling Gem Knight monsters from your hand, graveyard, and banish zone. Plus, they are also the fourth Gemini monsters to be a part of an archetype, the other being Alien Hypno, Ancient Gear Knight, and Elemental Hero Neos Alias. This may be a reference to Elemental Hero Sparkman. Both cards have lightning or electricity shown in both their hands. They are both level 4 monsters, and they both have the same attack and defense. As well, they both have orbs shown on the palms of their hands. Next up, Gem Knight Crystal. His text reads, a Gem Knight officer of high rank who has optimized the use of the crystal powers. Despite his ability to overwhelm most opponents, he's wary of stretching himself too thin and opts for solidarity with his comrades. This card is named after Rock Crystal, also known as Pure Quartz or Clear Quartz. Just like how the elemental heroes and crystal beasts might have combined to form the Gem Knight archetype, this card resembles a gem counterpart to Elemental Hero Neos. Evidence for this would be that it's a level 7 normal monster, this card's attack and defense are both 50 less than Neos, and this card's text bears a great resemblance to that of Neos. This may imply that he can perform certain kinds of fusions with other gem knights in the same way Neos can fuse with Neospatian monsters. So far, this is the only gem knight normal monster that no fusion monster lists as a fusion material monster. However, several subsequential released gem knight fusion monsters very closely resemble Crystal and may be his fused forms. These are Gem Knight Citrin, Gem Knight Amethyst, Gem Knight Prismora, Gem Knight Master Diamond, Gem Knight Zirconia. Also, Citrin and Amethyst are a type of crystal. Next up, Gem Knight Emerald. This card is named after Emerald, a type of gemstone. This card has an E Swarm counterpart known as Evil Swarm Heliotrope. And this card is similar to Digusto Emerald. Next up, Gem Knight Garnet. His text reads, The Gem Knight Warrior who carries the Garnet Soul. His flaming iron fist crushes all enemies. This card is named after the mineral Garnet, and this monster appears in the artwork of Revenge Return. Next up, Gem Knight Lolite. This card is named after Lolite which I think I'm saying right. Next up, Gem Knight Obsidian. This card's name comes from Obsidian, a shiny black stone usually found in volcanic regions. This is interesting to note as the Lavals are known to have volcanic homeland, and Lavalval Ignis bears a strong resemblance to this card, and this card is a possible Xyz material for Ignis. The giant bead necklace around this monster seems to be that of a Itako, a type of traditional Japanese shaman said to communicate with the dead which could be a reference to this card's effect. However, Itakos are traditionally blind and are all female, and this monster appears to be male. Next up, Gem Knight Prismora. So this card is named after a prism, which makes it the first Gem Knight that is not named after a gemstone. This card also appears to have been a fusion summoned using Gem Knight Crystal and Violon Prism. Also, the head of Violon Prism appears in the center of the shield Gem Knight Prismara wields. This card's fusion might be an implication that the Gem Knight archetype and the Violon archetype have joined forces to fight their common enemy, the Steel Swarm archetype. And this card appears in the artwork of Prioxene Fusion. Next up, Gem Knight Pearl. This card is based on the Pearl, which is very different than most gemstones being produced from living creatures oysters, rather than mine from the earth. This card is the first Gem Knight Xyz monster, as well as the first non-effect Xyz monster. And this card might be an indication that the Gem Knight archetype and Gishki archetype have joined forces to fight against their new enemy, the Vylon archetype. Also, in the dual terminal storyline, Gem Knight Pearl was the one who defeated Vylon De Sigma. And this monster appears in the artworks of Onigami Combo, Pursuit of the Fiend, Rank Wall, Shining Reborn, Wild Charger, Xyz Block, Xyz Reversal, Xyz Soul, Xyz Stand, Xyz Weight, and Xyz Extreme. <sighs> Next up, Gem Knight Sardonyx. This card's name is based on the mineral Onyx. 
Next up, Gem Knight Sapphire. His text reads that his sapphire power commands the waters to protect him from attack. His comrades trust in his silent protection. So this card is obviously named after the mineral Sapphire. And this card and Gem Knight Aquamarine are the first and only Earth attribute Aqua type monsters. Gem Knight Amethyst from Dual Terminal exceeds Startup being the third. And this card's attack, defense, level, and attribute is the same as Soul Tiger. Next up, Gem Gem Knight Topaz. This card is named after the Topaz, and this card has a counterpart, Gem Knight Prismara. This monster wields two Tomfers, possibly reflecting its ability to attack twice in a single battle phase. Next up, Gem Knight Tourmaline. He channels mystic energies and changes them into fighting strength through the power of Tourmaline. Many admire his way of life. This monster is doing something similar with the electricity current flowing between his hands like Elemental Hero Voltic is doing. This card may be the Gem Knight version of Elemental Hero Sparkman or Elemental Hero Voltic, therefore. And this card is named after a Tourmaline. As well, there is Gem Armadillo, which is based on the Carnelian and the Armadillo. Gem Elephant, based on the Red Beryl and the Elephant. Gem Merchant, based on the Turquoise and Magician. Gem Turtle, based on Jade and the Turtle. And next up, we have Gem Knight Lapis, whose text reads, the best of friends with Lazuli. This soldier deeply cares about the well-being of her friends. So this card can be seen as the normal monster counterpart of Gem Knight Lazuli. Together, their names become the name of the mineral they are named after, Lapis Lazuli. Speaking of Gem Knight Lazuli, the Lapis Lazuli is a semi-precious stone known for its intense blue colour, which could be shown in this monster's eyes. Despite its namesake stone colour, this monster is mostly brown, making this card the only Gem Knight with a colour scheme that does not match its namesake gem. And this is the first female Gem Knight monster. And a toy version of this monster appears in the artwork of Present Exchange. Now for the fusion monsters. First up, Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli. This is the first Gem Knight fusion monster to have originated from the anime. The Lapis Lazuli is likely shown in this monster's eyes and armor. This card's artwork is highly similar to El Shadol Construct. Both monsters also possess similar effects, namely Construct sends a Shadol monster to the graveyard, while Lapis Lazuli sends a monster from the main or extra deck to the grave. Next up, Gem Knight Master Diamond. This card is named after a diamond. This card resembles Gem Knight Crystal. This card is likely the boss monster of the Gem Knight, seeing as it has Master in its card name. As well, it has multiple effects involving other Gem Knight and their fusion monsters. Also, by fusion summoning this card correctly, it will have at least 3200 attack, just like the boss monster of the Vylon, Steel Swarm, and Gishki archetypes. This card seems to be the elemental hero, Divine Neo's counterpart for the Gem Knights. And this card is the first Gem Knight fusion monster to require free fusion material monsters, none of which are specific. It shares this distinction with its counterpart, Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. This monster appears in the artwork of Absorb Fusion. Next up, Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. This card is the female counterpart of Gem Knight Master Diamond. And this card is the highest original attack and level among all Gem Knight monsters. Next up, Gem Knight Amethyst. This card's name refers to a Amethyst, a violet colored variety of quartz. Like all other Aquatype Gem Knight monsters, this card has higher defense than attack. This card also has the reversed attack defense and same level as Gem Knight Crystal. This card is likely the fusion of Gem Knight Crystal and Gem Knight Lalite. The origin of the word Lalite is violet, the same color as Amethyst. Both Lalite and Amethyst wear a ring on their helm and wear an armored skirt. The weapon and shield that Amethyst use are the same color as the Gem Knight Lalite. Next up, Gem Knight Aqua Marine. This card is named after the mineral Aqua Marine. This monster has the highest defense out of all the Gem Knights, and this monster's weapon is a bladed shield, likely based on its effect. Next up, Gem Knight Citrine. This card is probably named after Madeira Citrine, a bright orange gemstone. The arm and sword of this monster are similar to those of the Lavals. This card appears to have been fusion summoned using Gem Knight Crystal and Gem Knight Garnet or Gem Knight Ruby. Next, Gem Knight Ruby. This card is named after the mineral Ruby. This monster looks like Tajadol Combo from Kamen Rider Triple O. Next up, Gem Knight Seraphonite. 
This cod is named after Seraphonite, a trade name for a particular form of clinoclore, a member of the chlorite group. The stone's name is, in turn, a reference to the Sephirim, the Angels of Heaven. And this card is a Gemnite fusion of Gemnite Lazulite and Constella Virgo. This card, along with the Gemnite Lazulite, are the first female Gemnites to be shown. And this is the first female Gemnite fusion to be shown. This card is unable to be fusion summoned with solely Gemnite monsters unless DNA transplant makes all monsters light. This is the first Gemnite fusion monster with this trait. However, Crystal Rose, a light monster, supports the Gemnite archetype and can be used to fusion some of this card. This is the only Gemnite monster to have type other than Aqua, Pyro, Rock or Thunder. And finally we have Gemnite Zirconia. Zirconium Dioxide, sometimes known as Zirconia, is a white crystalline oxide of Zirconium. Zirconia are used to simulate an image of a diamond, meaning they're fake. Being that, Gemnite Zirconia is a fake diamond. It's an imperfect version of Gemnite Master Diamond, reflected by its stats. This card is tied with Gemnite Master Diamond for having the highest total based attack and defense of any Gemnite monster. And this card is the first rock type Gemnite fusion monster. The second is Gemnite Master Diamond. This monster bears a resemblance to Grimarg the Rock Monarch, which is a potential fusion material for this card. And this is the only non effect Gemnite fusion monster. Unlike other Gemnite fusions, this card does not hold a weapon, having two large fists instead. This follows the pattern of Gemnite fusions having weapons that relate to their effects. This card has no effect, so it has no weapon. And this is the only non-effect fusion monster in the game without any specifically named materials. As a bonus, here are some possible crystal fusions outside of their own archetype. Carry Gorgon, a luminescent knight, Constella Sombra, Constella Virgo, Digusto Emerald, Evil Swarm Heliotrope, Laval Val, Ignis, and Vylon Prism. And with that, guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia done. This was a long one, so please smash that like button. I'd love to hear your thought of which your favorite Gem Knight monster is. Don't forget to leave a like again, and thanks a lot for watching.